today we'll discuss about why ACL tree or FACL tree act as the Lewis acid and another thing we'll discuss is how it helps in the friedel craft alkylation reaction. Now we'll start with one of the examples of friedel craft alkylation which is benzene plus CH3Cl in the presence of ACL3 gives toluene plus HCl. So in this reaction, the ACL3 acts as a catalyst and it's a Lewis acid and it forms toluene by substituting one of the hydrogens of benzene with CH3 group and HCl is a byproduct here. Now let's see what is so special about ACL3 that it acts as a Lewis acid. Now if we start from the very basic that is the electronic configuration of aluminium, it is neon 3s2 3p1. In the form of orbitals, we can write it as this is 3s2 and 3p1. Now in formation of ALCL3, first we have to draw the degenerate orbitals of aluminium, which is which will become 3s1 and 3p2. One of the electrons from s will move to the p orbital. So this is 3s and this is 3p, so it is 3s1, 3p2. Now what happens is one of the electrons from each of the chlorine share electron with the aluminium and the electrons go to 3s and 3p orbitals, something like this. So these are the electrons of chlorine. Now, still we can see that there is one p orbital which is vacant. So, there is the, the structure of ALCL3 will be something like this. Yeah. So, the shared pair of electrons are here. Okay. So, we can see here that there is one p orbital which is vacant. p orbital vacant. Second thing you can see here that the octet is not complete for aluminum. There is six orbitals, uh, six electrons for aluminum. Right. So, it has incomplete octet. Now the third thing you can see here that chlorine is more electronegative than aluminium. So the shared pair of electrons will be attracted more towards the chlorine, right? So aluminium becomes more electron deficient, electron deficient. Now these three factors are enough for ACL3 to act as a Lewis acid. So what is a Lewis acid actually? Lewis acid is electron pair acceptor, electron pair acceptor. So if aluminium takes two electrons from somewhere else, the octet will be complete and its p orbital will also become fully filled. So that's why ALCL3 acts as a Lewis acid. Now from somewhere, if ALCL3 gets Cl negative, it can easily form ALCL4 negative, right? Because from here, uh, it will also get two more electrons and the p orbitals will also become fully filled. Now let's see for Friedel-Craft alkylation reaction. Now I already told you in Friedel-Craft alkylation reaction, benzene has an H here, which gets substituted by the CH3 group. As it is an electrophilic substitution reaction, it means that there is one electrophile which is attacking on the benzene ring, right? So that electrophile is actually CH3 positive, right? Electrophile is CH3 positive here. Now, what happens is when ALCL3 reacts with CH3Cl, it forms ALCL4 negative plus CH3 positive. You know that benzene is very much stable compound, right? So it doesn't go undergoes reaction very easily. Now, when the CH3 positive is generated, the reaction becomes very easy. This is a very strong electrophile and the benzene reacts with this CH3 positive like this, okay? And it forms a carbocation and there is one H and there is one CH3 here. Now, next step is this carbocation is very unstable. So again, this ALCL4 negative will extract H positive from here and lead to the formation of toluene with HCl and ALCL3. As in the final reaction, we are getting ALCL3 back. That's why we say that it acts as a catalyst in this reaction.